Good morning. It's December 9th today, and we are in the book of Joel. And it's kind of interesting this time of year. We're now in the minor prophets, and some of them we can read in an, with the entire book in one day. And so that's what we're doing today with the, with the book of Joel. And to me, uh, one of the most interesting parts of the book of Joel, there's a lot that's interesting, actually. This locust plague that happens and uh, and the, uh, the prefiguring of the armies of Babylon that comes through that. Um, but one thing that it is quoted in the New Testament, a very large passage from Joel chapter 2, is quoted in Acts chapter 2, and it's this, And afterward I will pour out my Spirit on all people. This comes at Pentecost that uh, that this is quoted. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy, your old men will, will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my Spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens above and on the earth, uh, blood, and folk, uh, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Peter uses that at Pentecost um, to explain what's happening when uh, people start to speak in tongues and all those people who are gathered from all over the world are able to understand what they are saying. And uh, some people say that these people are drunk and Peter stands up and he says, no, this is what was uh, prophesied about in the prophet Joel. And so he refers back to him here and uh it's an amazing fulfillment of prophecy that this is able to happen then before the coming of the day of the Lord, uh, and uh, and these signs and wonders are being done, and young men are uh, seeing visions and old men dreaming dreams. Uh, so uh, Peter is excited, as are those who are gathered at Pentecost, to see fulfillment of a prophecy that comes from hundreds of years earlier. Um, and that's a major feature then of this book of Joel. Um, so there's much to be uh, admired in this book. I hope you'll enjoy reading this minor prophet uh, this time. And we're also beginning the book of Revelation. So interesting to have both the prophets and Revelation at the same time. Oftentimes we think about the prophets as, spe as speaking about the future, and some of them do, and some of, some of them has a, have that as a feature of their book. But really the prophets are mostly talking about the past. They're calling people back to conformity to the Mosaic Covenant and to the Abrahamic Covenant. They're saying this is what uh, the relationship that God has made with you by covenant and now he is um he has promised you that if you are obedient you're going to enjoy blessing but if you're disobedient you're going to uh suffer the consequences of that and now those consequences are coming because you have indeed been disobedient and so Joel has that uh, element to him here as well he's prefiguring the coming of the Babylonians the armies to come and take people into exile and he talks about the terrible destruction that will come from that not just physical destruction but spiritual destruction that comes from that Ultimately, the warning is so that people will turn around, repent, and come back to the Lord, and then be redeemed. So there's good news involved in all of the bad news of these prophets as well. So that's it for today.